Hi guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. My name is Paloma Fernandez. I am the face behind the account, the Instagram account, Archie the Kill Pen Pony. I decided to make this YouTube channel after quite a few people had asked me to make a YouTube channel. So I figured it was time and I'd just give it a shot. So this is going to be my first video ever. And if I like how it turns out, then I'll continue to make videos. If I don't like it, then I probably won't even post this video. So if this posts, then you'll know that I'll continue to make videos. So I decided that I would be telling you the story on how I got Archie, how I bought him, how I transported him from Texas to Flagstaff. In case any of you guys are wanting to buy a Kill Pen Horse, when I bought him, I had no help. I didn't have anyone who had experience doing it. I was completely in the dark, so hopefully this will help you guys out. So let's just get right into it. So I just wanted to start off by saying I got Archie from a Kill Pen in Texas named Kaufman Kill Pen. What they do is they take pictures of their healthy, sound, and tame horses, and they post them on Facebook for people to see and share um, to give them an opportunity to be bailed out and rescued before they get shipped to Mexico and turned into meat. So basically, I saw Archie's ad and I was just blown away by his confirmation. He had the nicest confirmation that I had seen in a long time on that page. So I sent his pictures and his ad to a bunch of my friends, including my dad, and I was just like, hey, what do you think about this horse? I'm considering bailing him out from the kill pen and adopting him. And so my dad was like, yeah, go for it. Just do it, take the leap. But of course I didn't have any money. So he was like, if you need it, I'll help you pay for it. You pay me back later. So I was like, okay, cool. But then my other friends, I had two, so I had a few friends I sent it to. Majority of them were like, no, he looks kind of weird. He looks sick. I don't know if it's a good deal. He obviously is in a kill pen for a reason. And I had one friend, it literally just took one friend and she was just like, no, he looks like a great horse, get him. And that was the friend that was the most experienced with horses. So I was like, okay, well, I'm obviously gonna go with her opinion. So I just took the leap and I put up my current horse for sale. Um, long story short, we were not a fan of each other and I was considering selling her anyway. So this gave me the push to really get that sale going. So I put her up for sale she sold in two days, that gave me four more days left to adopt Archie. I paid his bail that same day and um, I basically rescued him. So what I did to pay his bail was I just messaged the Kaufman owners on Facebook and I was like, hey, I want to uh, pay the bail for a lot, blank, blank, blank. I don't remember his numbers at the, t at the moment. So I was just like, I wanna pay the bail for um, this horse and they were like, okay, cool, PayPal us the money and I was like, all right, cool. So I PayPal them the money and then they were like, cool, he's your horse, figure out a quarantine situation, a shipping situation. They were like, keep him here for any, if you keep him here for any more days, we're going to charge you. And I was like, okay. So basically when you rescue a horse from a kill pen, you have to have them quarantined for, I believe it's 10 to 15 days. Um, and then they can be checked by a vet and they can get their health certificate and then that means that they can travel across states. So I had to find a quarantine lady. I um, asked her to go pick him up and she kept him at her facility for about 15 days, got him that checked and then she, was, she gave me the all clear. So I contacted my shipper, which is no longer in business anymore. I really wish he was in business because he was a great shipper and I would have loved to share that information with you guys, but he's not anymore, so I can't share that. But, so I basically contacted him. I was like, hey, he's ready to ship. And he was like, cool, we're on it. So it took him a few days to get Archie and then it took him two more days to get him to Arizona. Um, but I definitely, definitely recommend that you contact the shipper and you ask them for references. I have heard horror stories of shippers stealing horses, doing wild stuff with horses that I would off like that I would be ter terrified to have done to my horses. So definitely get in contact with some references. I got in contact with about three and they all told me that he's a great shipper, that he's shipped many of their horses. So I was feeling pretty confident. After all, they're carrying your future baby pretty much. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but basically. So 
after I got Archie, he was so beat up. He was so malnourished and he was just so quiet and gloomy and you could tell he was just exhausted. He had gone through literal H-E double hockey sticks before he got to me. And that's when our recovery journey began. I got him on a really, really awesome feed plan, which I'll share with you guys later. He gained tons of weight and I was actually able to get in contact with his breeder and ask her why he ended up there. So in a nutshell, Archie did not end up at a kill pen because he was lame, because he was sick, because he was ill-mannered. He ended up there because he was struck with some bad luck. So I really got lucky with the horse I got. I absolutely love Archie to death. Um, but that is going to conclude this video. I just wanted to share the story of how I paid for him, how I got him, how I got him shipped to Arizona. And in the future, I plan on making videos about his transformation, his training, and just all sorts of other videos that you guys request. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see any videos specifically. And just know that I do run the Instagram account Archie the Kill Pen Pony. You can always DM me. I answer most all of the DMs. It might take me a few days to get back to you, but I do answer most of them. Um, so I think that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this YouTube video. I'm sorry it was so boring. Um, the future ones will get better, I promise. If you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button, you can continue to follow our journey and I will continue to post videos. Thank you guys. Bye.